Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mr. Mulvaney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Galvin, I'm going to stay away from the policy issues and just make sure I can understand the data. So I'm going to run down a list relatively quickly and make sure I'm, I'm reading it correctly. Um, the uh, labor force participation rate dropped last month from 64 percent to 63.7 percent? Correct. But the number of discouraged workers was up from roughly 945,000 to 1.05 million people. Is that correct? Correct. That the number of other marginally attached workers grew from 1.595 million to 1.75 million last month? U5? One, yeah, the other. I have to do the math there. That looks right. Um, the uh, number of folks who are employed part time for economic reasons grew from 8.098 million people to 8.23 million people last month. Correct. And that uh, the unemployed by the widest measure uh, grew then from 23.74 million people to 23.8 million people last month. Is that correct? Yeah. I don't, I've got to d uh, dig for that level. I have the rate. The rate went from 15.2 to 15.1? Correct. Um, that the percent of total long-term unemployed, excuse me, that the long-term as a percentage of the total unemployed last month rose from 42.7 percent to 43.3 percent. That's defined by folks out of work more than six months, 27 weeks? It rose four-tenths of a percent to 42.9 percent. Okay. Um, and then the graph that uh, Chairman Brady offered is up here behind us shows that uh, the number of total hires is roughly the same um, now on a monthly basis as it was in late 2008. Would you agree with that, sir? If those numbers are correct, yes, I would. Um, I have some data from our JOLTS survey which show that uh, JOLTS hires have increased some since the uh, end of the recession, and it doesn't appear that that line is going up. Okay. Your Already. Is probably correct, but I think mine is as well. That if you go back to late 2008, which is the the blue dotted uh, vertical line there, current hires are below that level. Exactly. Um, if we add dis, uh, discouraged workers, other marginally attached workers, and folks who are unemployed part time for economic reasons, um, then the unemployment rate in this country is 15.1 percent this month. Correct. Thank you, sir. Um, you mentioned earlier that the labor force has grown slightly, and it looks like it has, from 15 point, excuse me, 153.9 million people to 154.4. Given the population growth over the same period of time, is that the growth in the size of the labor force that you would expect to see? Um, that depends on the degree to which uh, the growth in the population uh, participates in the labor force. But generally, uh, you'd expect uh, an increase of s somewhere from 100 to 150,000 per month just to keep up with the population and their rate of participating. I'm sorry, say that again. You, you, you would expect the job, the number of jobs to grow 150,000 dollars, 150,000 jobs per month. You expect the labor force, uh, and well, you need about 100 to 150,000 jobs per month to keep up with the growth in the labor force. So if we add 150,000 jobs per month, mm -hmm. all other things being equal, the unemployment rate will not come down. Yeah, correct. All other things being equal, the uh, participation rate will stay the same, and uh, the jobs being found will go to the new folks coming into the labor force. So at the rate of job creation last month, all other things being equal, how long will it take for us to get employment down to, say, 6.5%? Yeah, that requires a lot of speculation I need to uh, avoid because I, I really, BLS really can't predict the rates at which people will enter the labor force. I can tell you that um, the job growth we've seen uh, since uh, employment turned around as measured by the payroll survey is still about uh, 5.6 million below. Uh, there's still about a 5, 6.6 .6 million uh, drop or loss from uh, there's still 5.6 million jobs to be gained in order for us to regain all the jobs lost during this downturn. Thank you, Mr. Galvin. Lastly, on page three of your report, you indicate that uh, 
uh, government jobs are down uh, considerably since uh, over the course of the last 12 mm -hmm. months, 276,000 jobs lost with declines in local government, state government, excluding education and the U.S. Postal Service. Um, if, if you add education back into those numbers, mm -hmm. um, what, what, what does that uh, job loss within the government sector look like? Yeah, one second, I'll get that for you. Okay, well, that's the total uh, of... Uh, over the year that you just gave me. Yes, sir. 276,000 jobs were lost in government over 2011, uh, and that's the total of federal, state, both the education and the non-education components, and local, both the education and non-education components. I'm sorry, I'm looking at your notes on page three, and it specifically says that state government, comma, excluding education. So mm -hmm. I took that to mean that any gains in education were excluded from that number. Is that not correct? No, that's just a way of breaking down the state government total, because uh, some people are interested in that. Uh, the, the education sector and then the non-education sectors uh, sector of the state government. I guess, uh, the, I apologize for going a little long, Mr. Chairman. I guess my question is, where are the education jobs contained on page, the list on page three? If we added one education job, and it looks like we have added education jobs since the beginning of the recession. We added education jobs uh, in, from November to December. So on the list on page three, if we hire a teacher, what category does it go into? Okay, um, I think just... Uh, in terms of local government education, looking over the year, uh, currently there are 7.8 million in local government education. That's down from 7.9 million a year ago. State government education, uh, you had, uh, it's essentially flat, uh, about 2.4 million. Uh, private education, I think, may have gone up. Okay, so education is, is roughly flat over the course of the last year. If you're, looking at, uh, if you're looking at government education, state and local, it's down mainly in local areas. The state government education is uh, flat over the years. I got you. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Mr. Burgess. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.